Mavericks right now are getting ready, warming up to go against the Toronto Raptors for their third straight win on the home court in the American Airlines Center. Stay tuned because it's definitely going to be a good game. Right now, the Dallas Mavericks are going for their third straight win on their home court in the American Airlines Center. The score against the Toronto Raptors is 50 to 61. Here they go into the locker room.
Uh, well, you know, I, I like the way we played for the most part. You know, we had some uh, we had some lapses during the game, but the uh, starting lineup got us off to a good start. You know, we were hitting shots and and, and stuff. Um, uh, the thing we mi we missed tonight is is Elton's physical presence. You know, we just without him we are not a very physical team. So um, that's my concern, and I you know hopefully we'll get him back for Friday. We did well tonight, but you know we, we played bigger guys, and uh, you know uh, Bernard James had a great game. You know he was a real factor when he was in there. Um, he got he got quite a few rebounds, I believe. I mean, yeah, we had nine and you know, 18 minutes. That's that's a defense and uh, and rebounding. I mean, that kind of comes naturally to me. So, I feel very comfortable doing that. Um, you know, no matter who I'm playing against, uh, offense. I'm still kind of trying to get the hang of things and, and get the flow. Um, you know, develop my mid range game. So, uh, you know, that's, that's a little more foreign feeling to me. But I mean, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely starting to learn my teammates and and uh, get to feel comfortable. You got the first three wins on your home court. Now you're going on to the road. What are you expecting to see? Um, you know, playing on the road is always tough. So, uh, you know, we're definitely expecting them to put up a really good fight. Um, you know, we're going to come out uh, with the same energy that, that we always come out with, um, pushing the ball, up-tempo game, and, uh, you know, attacking. Yeah, Keenan, Keenan gives, us, gives us an inside presence, and he also gives us – uh, perimeter skill. I mean, his outside shooting is something that's going to be really important for us. And it allows, it allows us to play Brandon Wright with him, who's not really a, a, a big uh, spacer type player. So, you know, Kamen's, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely a key guy, especially with in the absence of some of the others. And then there was double chase off the baseline for, with OJ um, coming out. If OJ didn't have nothing to dump it down the post, goal, I was kind of like the third or fourth option on that play. And, you know, I just wanted to be aggressive tonight. You know, I have only my third game back. And, um, you know, I thought I got a good look at it. And, you know, I went in. Lucky shot, you know. That's what Dirk says. Anyway. We're, we're playing a team tonight that's playing their fourth and five nights. And, you know, this is, you know, that's the kind of advantage you've got to get. And uh, we were fresh and they weren't. And, uh, so, you know, we did what we were supposed to do there. It's for sure helping my confidence a lot. Um, me being out there with the other guys and playing off those guys is, is a great feeling. And I think um, I don't take it for granted because every rookie don't get that opportunity. So uh, each day I come in, I just uh, try to work hard and try to earn uh, the playing time that I'm getting. I feel like we have to be uh, be, be a unit. It's going to be a tough times. The um, opposite team is going to make runs. I feel like if we stick to the game plan, uh, we're going into it, I feel like we'll be fine. You mentioned that every rookie doesn't really get the opportunity to start. So tell me, is there anything you tell yourself differently tonight, knowing that you were starting? Not at all. Just play to let the game come to you, it's come to me, uh, as I've been doing, and just uh, play within myself and play within the team. So I uh, try not to change uh, up too we much. We gotta come out, be prepared. You know, play hard. Uh, come out with a lot of energy. It's a back to back, so we gotta come and just be ready. Definitely. And are these three wins giving you any more momentum going on there? Uh, definitely. You know, we've been playing great team ball. You know, been sharing the ball and having players step up each game. So I'm just looking forward to that. Um, I mean, first it's cold in New York, so I mean I love that because I'm a fashion guy, you know. So <laughs> I like to I like to dress up, you know. But um, I mean, you know, we go on the road. We've been home. We had a good home stretch, you know. We go on the home. We go on the road, and it's time to try to take down too. You know, we got New York, tough team, great energy, and then we got Charlotte, who we played here before. So that's our mindset right now. Is there any difference in your preparation between preparing for a home game and road? Um. Nah, I mean, it's kind of the same, you know, just the road, it seems like, I don't know, I like going on the road, you know, I like playing on the road when the crowd is against you, you know, so, I mean, I'm excited every time we go on the road, so, I guess that's the difference. <laughs> Any away games that you have the best memories from? Um, I mean, some, in the, one in Philly, and mm, that's about it, I like that one the most, so, yeah. Uh, I think uh, we're doing we're doing a good job right now. I think uh, everybody is falling into, you know, what we have to do on the defense end is making our offense so much better. But um, you know, these these home games is something that we want to take care of, and uh, now we get a chance to go to New York and uh, you know take on a challenge there. You know, Vince Vince generally is one of the smartest players I've ever been around. You know, he and Marion really are two of the smartest guys. But I mean, 
he's the only guy on the team that's stepping in there and taking charges. We got nobody else that's doing it. And so, you know, those are big plays. With these three wins on the home court, talk a little bit about how you guys are mesh meshing well together. Um, I think we're just believing in the system. You know, that's first and foremost. By, by believing in the system helps everybody relax because you know what to expect. You know uh, the different situations that we're put in, what to do or where guys are going to be. And, and that's, that's why you have a preseason, which sometimes we don't like to, to, to be a part of or, or play as many games. But for us, having this many new guys with a – with coaches' system, which is kind of different than the norm, those mistakes that we were able, that we made early are helping us now. Yes, indeed. This game is officially over. The Mavericks have won their third straight win on the home court in the American Airlines Center. Granted, the DJ is jamming right now. Everybody's exiting the arena. Happy this evening. Go Dallas Mavericks.